Hey everyone, Team UDF here for some more Skyrim mod reviewing, and today we're playing more of Worm's Tooth. Thus far, we have encountered new characters, and we've just reached Worm's right. Tooth. Listen up, everyone. That monster is out there on this island. It knows we're here, and it likely has a trap prepared for us. But this ship is not going anywhere until you're covered in that dragon's blood. No second chances. No letting it get away this time, or none of us are getting paid. Do I make myself clear? Great. Let's move out. Alright, we've got like an army of people and we're still gonna die miserably, I bet. But, whatever. Oh wait, I had to talk to him or something? No, we're just following him. Are we? I can't tell. Uh, yeah, we're following him. Look him. Salmina, I think you're in the way. I don't know. Hey, watch it. Sorry, Salmina. Where'd those other guys go? They're probably headed to the right place. Was that them going to the town? <laughs> Let's see if it was. No, this is... This has unfriendlies in it. Oh, hey, these are our buddies, though. All right, bandits. Dang it! I knew that would happen. There we go. Why didn't the other one's name come up? I would have been able to tell. Freaking Skyrim screwing with me all the time. Ooh, the design of this fort's pretty nice. Some of it looks familiar, but other parts of it look like they could be custom. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of forts lately, but whatever. He's over there. There he goes. Oh, you freaking thing. Made me waste my shout. Come on, mouse wheel. Agree with me here. No, yes, okay. The crap. Eh. Uh oh. Got turned around. No, okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, Skyrim's doing that thing where it doesn't want to play music. And I really hate when it does that. Or no, it's nighttime. I don't know, whatever. Let's just keep going. And hopefully, eventually, we shall get there. I'm catching up. My shouts make me all the more powerful. should probably find the higher levels of this shout. I've, like, never encountered them. Unless I've just not unlocked them. Let me check that out really quick. <laughs> okay, then. I can't say I'm terribly surprised, but still. What the crap. Punk fox. Alright. Okay, we found the mining settlement that we heard about last episode. Gods, what a disaster. They never stood a chance. I can't even begin to imagine how the mining settlement's going to recover from this. Elmira and Theoden will stay behind and tend to the wounded. There's likely more people trapped under all this rubble. Hmm. The rest of us are heading to the barrow on the other side of the island. I suggest you follow along with us, but if you want to scout around first, we'll be waiting for you at the Barrow, so don't take too long. Fantastic. Okay, so that dragon beat us to the punch is completely trashed this place, it seems. Wow. This town is a good setup. I also like that we can actually see the wreckage. I remember in Oblivion that was like a big problem. It was a lot of trouble. <laughs> to actually show that something had been destroyed. Uh, more so if the place had been intact at one time, I don't know. Or maybe it was just that many mod creators didn't have the time or resources to do that. But yeah, I'm liking this so far. This is really showing that Skyrim modding is finally starting to catch up with Oblivion modding. I remember alluding to that a long time ago, that 
you know, in my opinion, Oblivion would still be the top, or, well, out of the ones I've played, the top Elder Scrolls game. Uh, mainly because Skyrim modding hadn't caught up yet, but we're finally starting to see the quest mods and things like that. Super Skyrim Brothers and some of the player-owned homes. Ancient Towers is back in the form of uh, Leveler's Towers. So I think it's getting up there. We have some gems already. I'm still having trouble pinpointing exactly where Skyrim's longevity problem came into play, though. I remember just being able to sit for hours upon hours running around doing random vanilla crap in Oblivion, and it always held my attention. Skyrim, not so much. And I have no idea why. I'm not exactly bored with the quest. I'm certainly not bored with the graphics or anything, but... I don't know. Make our way to that borrow in any case. See if we can find way to borrow. They'll catch up, I don't know. This no music thing's starting to piss me off. I hate when there's no music in the background in my videos, but... I don't know, whatever. Hopefully the rest of the ambience is good enough. I was always like that in high school and part of college as well. Like, I needed something playing in the background. I couldn't just study. Like in a dead, silent room. It didn't really work for me that way. I might have told this story already. There's that this one freaking really annoying uh, test we had in our senior level government class. Uh oh well, There he is. I was like, where the heck is he? Uh, before I go with that story, though, I want to point out, this is... holy crap. Like, this is all custom location. I was like, it's just now... <laughs> that fact is just now settling in on me here. This is really cool. This is... this place is huge. It's almost as big as freaking... Um, Dragonborn. I wonder if there's additional... huh. I don't know. So anyway, that government story. Our uh, senior year teacher gave us... We were uh, studying famous uh, U.S. court cases. Actually, I think they were just uh, civil rights court cases. Maybe not necessarily U.S. court cases. Uh, civil rights court cases. Okay, wait. Can I get music here? No. No, I cannot. Let me try saving and loading it up again. Uh, okay, I don't know. Completely rebooted Skyrim and I'm still not getting music. Whatever, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, so court cases. We had to memorize 40 court cases. And I literally mean memorize. Uh, the day of the test, our teacher told us she was going to give us a blank piece of paper and we had to write down the 40 court cases. Including, uh, the name of the case, the... the main parties. Oops, gotta turn this back on. And, uh, who won and why. Just a min. Just a blank piece of paper. Uh, granted, she did give us the whole week, but that's not what that's not what you want to have your students do. That's a bad idea. I don't, even on the teacher's end of it now, I don't really approve of that. Uh, but in any case, I remember the way I studied for that was I actually was playing Perfect Dark Zero, playing uh, with those little. The AI and everything. That was just a blast back then. Ooh, speaking of... This design? Heck yeah. I was, like, disappointed that they used this so early in the game. And now it's given a more epic feel again. Let's get inside. Uh, so I would just stare at these court cases, like, ten at a time. And then I'd do a round of my game. And then stare at the next 10, do another round of my game. And by the time it was done, I got 100% on that test. I was really happy. That was like one of the best things I'd ever studied for. And it wasn't even math related. I forget why I even told that story. Oh, well. There you go. <laughs> nah! 
Okay, yeah, there should have been music playing. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't even know how to fix it. Grunt said something about this as well. So Grunt, if you fixed it, go ahead and let me know how. I looked it up in between, like... Well, if I look it up, I mean, I did a quick Google search on it while I was rebooting Skyrim and everything, and I, nobody really had anything specific to say, so... I'm, again, I'm not sure if it's just because it's nighttime or something screwy is going on. Like, there should have at least been the background ambient sounds or something. I was just hearing bugs and crickets. Well, I guess that is background ambient sound. also forgot to cut out this loading screen, so fantastic. Oh. No, that's not music, though. That's background noise. Is it? I don't know. I can't tell sometimes, whatever. Okay, so this makes sense, though, because we had five people, and now two of them are staying behind, so we ended up with three new people. Never should have come here. Yeah, this isn't music. Oh, there we go. Okay. And I remember the very beginning of my Skyrim LP, I had the problem where the music wouldn't stop playing, like the battle music, but... I don't know what's up with that. Activate weapon slot. Yes, that's what I'm doing. There's a weapon slot and I'm activating it. What should I do? Yes. Oh, that's not you. Wait, where's, where is he at? Here we go. No! Still here. You're Cleon. I don't want to talk to you ever. You kidding me? Where the heck is the guy at? Where's Lurius? Wasn't one of these guys supposed to stay? I don't know, whatever. Okay, weapon slot randomly. Does it want me to steal this guy's weapon? Because I stole it. I don't know what it wants me to do. There's no indication of what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, I guess let's see if we can find another weapon. Unless I have to have it equipped. That could be. Let's go ahead and equip the weapon we found. Uh, no, I'm guessing not. I don't mind things like this, but you, like, have to build up to it. You can't just throw a puzzle for no reason and, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't see any other trinkets in here. So I missed one somewhere. Wow. Well, shots are lagging again. Let's see, a bombing tool, maybe? Yeah, it's... What? What was that? Like, something happened. Did you hear that? Something did something. What the heck was that? It, like, started and then stopped. Bandit journal. Retrieve, uh, gore duster. Okay. Don't know how long that old fart has been down here. He certainly looks like an odd fellow, but I'm not one to judge. Said he's been studying the drug burger burger burger. Using them to develop some fancy spell that allows him to control their movements. Sounds like a power that could come in handy in our next raid. But what really got my attention was when he said he might be able to modify the spell to control anything. Not just the dust walkers, but living people, too. A power like that, I can't even begin to fathom what we could accomplish. What I could accomplish. If what he says is true, then I can't let him leave until I get that spell. So we struck a deal. We don't send in more of our buddies to harass him, and in return he transcribes that spell for us when he's done. I've taken the sword. It seems to open and close the gate at front, entr at front entrance. Uh, so I need to make sure I don't mix it up with the others. While the sword itself is fearsome enough, what with its ability to resurrect whatever it kills, it's nothing compared to the spell the wizard is working on. I just hope he finishes before I end up looking like he does. We're gathering the loot at the old shipwreck along the coast near the mining settlement. 
Once we've cleared the place out, we'll meet at the docks and have it transported to Sky Rizzo. Hopefully this contraband is still worth something. It sure isn't, Yugi boy. All right, let's be off. We must find Gore Duster. <laughs> I can also get rid of this jank sword that will do me no good. It also hit me and got the final say in the matter. Well, fantastic. To return to solitude, sleep on any bed in the right way. That's cool. They, like, even modified the loading screen somehow. And plenty of mods did that in Oblivion, too, but whatever, you know. It's just neat to see it again. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was another marker. Alright, uh, I'm gonna head back to the mining settlement instead of walking all the way there. It seems a bit short to trip if I do just that. Does the overworld not have music then, maybe? I don't know. Why would the borrow have music but not the overworld? That makes no sense to me. I don't know, whatever. I'm just going to keep talking now because, again, I forgot to cut out the loading screen. Mystic Piper. Hmm. Looks like it was on the coast somewhere over here. Ah, come on. Agree with me, Skyrim. Why won't you agree with me? Okay, now it's daytime and there's no music. Now, now I'm pissed off. Freaking Skyrim. Like, come on, how about this enemy? <laughs> Nothing? Man. You know, they said this place was like north of Solitude, didn't they? So I wonder if they tried to set up the geography in such a way that you can actually notice that. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Man, these guys have all the paths. I've got nothing. Wait, that was an enemy. No, you're... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Army of lollygaggers. Man, Skyrim. Stop depressing me every time I want to do something neat. Oh, hey, Gordust is right here. Fantastic. And now let us drown ourselves. Uh. Boy. All right, let's make our way back to the borrow. Back to the borrow. There we go. Oh, oh sure, figures they get that loading screen. It's not even a long one. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I haven't, like, loaded it up before with this new SKSC. I don't know, Skyrim just behaves so much more oddly to me than Oblivion ever did. Like, Oblivion had some bad loading screens on my old machine, but... At least you could chalk it up to being because of the... The specs of the machine. Like, my laptop wasn't anything too special. There we go. Dee hee I want to read Gordoster, that's why I took it back. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, that's done it. Let's go. Fantastic. Go. My army of idiots is also ready. This dungeon oh, some vagrants? Did I not tell you already that you'll get what you want? By Shaw's bones, I need more time. Wait. You're not one of those cutthroat smugglers, are you? Explain yourself before I immolate you in hellfire! Chasing a dragon that came from this island. Do you know anything about it? Ah, I suppose that's what all the commotion was about then. The rabble plundering these ruins of its riches mentioned something about their shipments being jeopardized. But honestly, dragons? Maybe it was a cliff racer. They have been known to grow quite large. No, it was a dragon. Well, I suppose that is quite something then. This island is the caldera of an ancient volcano, and the barrow itself is built into the mountains. Ooh. I know of a way deeper down, 
through these ruins into the magma chamber. That's likely where you'll find your dragon, but there is one slight dilemma. Uh oh. Next time we find out what the dilemma is, and hopefully I have freaking music. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!